It's a fantastic feeling to be honoured by my city. Um, I'm born and bred um, in Sheffield and at um, the age of 30 to be honoured uh, by the city for my achievements in squash has been fantastic and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it and um, long may uh, the success for both myself and Sheffield continue. I've always been fortunate enough to be able to be based at home and have take advantage of the amazing facilities we've had here and I think I've had an advantage over a lot of the other players on tour because of that. Coming back for a couple of weeks here and there between tournaments rejuvenates me and it get, recharges those batteries ready to go and attack the tour again. It certainly aided my success over the years. Uh, I, I mean it's amazing to be able to put something back to the next generation of players. Um, we were all in that position once ourselves and we Definitely, I remember the favourite sessions that I had were when a top player or someone that you'd seen on TV or came into your school or your club and gave you a session. So hopefully, you know, one day I can be that person for, for these kids. I probably first started hearing about Nick when I first started really getting into squash. I think he was playing Yorkshire League down at Hallamshire. I just went down one night and watched him play. And I was quite young and was just sort of learning the game really. It was quite nice to see what it was like if you were like at a very high standard like at that pro level. That's something I'd like to achieve world, world number one, so something that you sort of achieved what I'd like to, so it's something to look, look up to and know that it can be done by someone around here. We're in the process trying to develop a role for me, both with Hallamshire, my club in Sheffield, and with England Squash, so hopefully I can do that in the future.